in the middle of the South China Sea. Success in the search for clues to one of the deadliest chapters in Australia's wartime history. That is seriously exciting stuff. This has been a, a many multi-year journey to uh, to find the, the wreck. But it's mixed emotions too, because we're looking at the gravesite of over a thousand people. In late June 1942, the Japanese ship set sail from Rabaul in Papua New Guinea, bound for Hainan Island. Just over a week into the journey, it was spotted by an American submarine, the USS Sturgeon, firing upon it not knowing it was carrying more than 1,000 prisoners of war and civilians. At least 979 of them believed to be Australian. More Australians died on the Montevideo and Marrow, nearly twice as many as were lost in the whole of the Vietnam War. Eight decades later, the team made a remarkable discovery, scouring the seabed more than 100 kilometres northwest of the Filipino island of Luzon. The bow and stern of the ship detected using state-of-the-art technology four kilometres below the surface, testing the skills of those determined to locate the vessel. Very challenging, to be frank, and, and actually it's, it's not often that searches are conducted at this depth. I feel closer to my grandfather than I probably ever have. Arthur Parry was among those who lost their lives on that fateful day, a radiologist who'd been captured in Papua New Guinea. Oh, do not worry, dear, but we hope and pray for the best. His granddaughter learning about the man she never met through wartime letters posted before he disappeared. My dad used to say, we've been forgotten. Your grandfather's been forgotten. But today, you know, he hasn't been forgotten. The chair of the War Memorial's uncle, Sid, was also on board. Recollections of the Australians' actions as the ship sank sticking with him. There's been a story from one, uh, I think, just about the only survivor. I was particularly impressed when they began singing Old Lang Syne as a tribute to their dead colleagues. That's a hell of a thought. The Prime Minister paying tribute to the search team, saying the extraordinary effort behind this discovery speaks for the enduring truth of Australia's solemn national promise to always remember and honour those who served our country. Relatives of those lost have long wondered why the Montevideo Maru never had the same prominence as other pivotal moments in the story of Australia at war. This discovery, just before Anzac Day, brings a renewed appreciation of the sacrifice their loved ones made. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Canberra.